welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we're here in, uh, well, we were in Anaheim, California. We just got done delivering some paper rolls. And, uh, yeah, we were just on the load board for about 30 minutes today, not too long. There was a good amount of loads, and they weren't paying too bad, to be honest. And, uh, so we ended up booking a load, picking up in Ontario, which is like 30 minutes away from where I was from, or where I was at. And we're gonna be delivering to Portland, Oregon. And we got $3 a mile. We got paid $3 a mile plus. So I haven't had that in a, in a little bit, in a while. I always get kind of close to it, but not over it. But today we got $3 plus a mile. I'm happy. It's a water load though, so it's gonna be a little heavy. that little sensor beeper thing when you get too close to trucks it's so annoying and when you have it on cruise control it'll like break for you super hard and it's it's honestly really dangerous i've had it happen to me where i was going around a curb and yeah it was it was bad but anyways yeah we're how far are we now we're 15 20 minutes away now so uh oh yeah one thing I think the reason why I got paid good on this load is because they needed someone on this load ASAP because the load was supposed to be picked up at 10 a.m. It says on the Raycon, but right now it's 11.30 a.m. So we're already late, but I didn't book it until I booked it around 11. So it's not my fault. So yeah, that's why we got a good rate because they just needed to hurry up needed someone to hurry up and do it so hopefully they don't make us wait too long to load us because we're late that would suck but either way we still got a good load so let's see what happens So we have to park on the street and then we have to go check in over there. So let's go do that. Oh man, I've been here before and they're pretty strict on the appointments. Niagara bottling. Been here plenty of times. The girl's kind of rude here. All right, surprisingly, they gave us a door right away. Door 75. And then they'll give us a call once they are done loading us so let's go back into that door all right we got that loves water all loaded i might try to hit the ta that's nearest to me and get this load weighed because yes yeah, so i was there at the ta in ontario and um I fueled up because uh, the fuel there is pretty cheap, and I had uh, I wanted to scale my load because I knew my scale on my app was a little bit off, but I just didn't know by how much, so I had to go calibrate it. And plus, this was a heavy load, so I just wanted to make sure my axles were good on the weight and I wasn't overweight. So we were good on the axles and everything. I think this load weighs like 78,000 pounds. Well, total with everything, but my uh, my my scale, Louis, my bit air scale was a little bit off, so I calibrated it back. So it should be even better now. Good morning, you guys. We're here at the Loves. We stayed the night here. Seven thirty, seven forty, right now. We came to check in to get our new super singles put on. Two of them. So we're gonna drop our trailer and then we're gonna bobtail in.
super, new super singles put on. I'll show you guys right now. Before I connect to the trailer. But the total came out to be. Oh, uh, let me see. They gave me $70 for my other super single. Because one of them was pretty good. It was a Michelin. It still had a lot of life left. And then the other one was like a random Chinese brand. So I let them keep that one for 70 bucks. So it came out to be 2477 It would have been like 2500 something. But like I said, I got that $70 credit. Uh, we'll say like 2500 bucks for two super singles Yokohamas put on and everything oh man that's why I shouldn't be taking those dollar mile loads huh because tires ain't cheap so these are the ones I already had on and these are the new ones some Yokis Beefy. So this is a tire we decided to keep. We're gonna put it under our trailer. All right, we got it under here. So just in case you guys don't believe me, 2477. Oh man. So uh, I was asking him about my steer tires. Cause they're not, I don't need them yet, but I know I'm gonna need them probably like in a month or two. I know they have like those little measurers there. So I asked him if he could like measure it, see how much longer I have. And he said they were at, at a nine. And he said the minimum, minimum is four. So we're still good. I don't know what nine and four means. I don't know if it's millimeters or, I don't know. It's just, he said it was at a nine and the minimum is a four. So we're good on that. But I was asking him how much the steer tires were for some Yokohamas that I already have on he said they're like $700 each so in about a month or two probably two months we're gonna have to get some new steer tires so I stopped here in Medford Oregon at the TA or no this is the Petro and I went to the iron skillet and I got me some chicken strips with fries so, so people are always asking me what's this right here so pretty much it's connected to the camera up there and if I were to if ever get in a crash or someone were to ever hit me, I just uh, hit this green button and it records. It like saves that section specifically. And uh, say someone gets in front of me and brake checks me and I hit them, then I hit that button and uh, it's gonna save that video. So yeah, that's what that button does. It's to the camera. And the only reason I have that camera is because my insurance. My insurance requires me, it's cheap. I have cheap insurance, so they but they require me to have this camera. Uh, it does have a forward facing camera too, but I blocked it off with tape, because I don't want it to be looking at me. What the heck, that's weird. They haven't said anything yet. I've had it for like two years now, so I don't even think they look at the camera, but who knows. But, that's one of the requirements for this insurance and they uh, drug test you. All right, so we made it to the TA here in uh, man, Aurora, Oregon. I just dropped my trailer over there. And we're gonna go hit the gym. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go tell the front desk that I dropped my trailer though. They just want me to sign a paper, blah, blah, blah. I've done it before. All right, we just filled out the paperwork. So now we're gonna head to the nearest Planet Fitness. And Bob Taylor. Oh man, Thursday morning. It's almost Friday. I'm gonna check the truck out and then we're gonna go deliver this load and see what's on the load board to head back home, baby. Okay, so we made it here to the delivery, but it was all empty. There was no one there. The building was all it was just nothing that was in there. So uh, it seemed like they moved. And see, I kept trying to get a hold of the broker, but I haven't got a hold of him. 
because he doesn't answer and he doesn't respond to the emails, but on the BOL, it says a different address and on the Raycon, it says a different one. And when I looked it up online, the correct one is on the BOL, but you always kind of want to follow the Raycon because that's, if you go to the other one and it's not the right one and you don't go to the Raycon one, then uh, you're pretty much not going to get like compens compensated or paid for it because you went to the wrong address than what you guys had, had agreed on on the Raycon. So uh, the other place is four miles down. Luckily, the broker still hasn't responded, but I'm just going to head to this place and it should be the right place. Here at the right place, I think. Try to go check in. Yeah, man. So uh went to go check in, and they said that this load was supposed to be delivered the first, but today's the fourth. So I don't know what the brokers. I don't know if it's the broker's fault or the delivery people's fault here, but man. Luckily, it's 9.30. My appointment wasn't supposed to be until 10, so I'm not too worried right now. But once it's past 10, I'm going to start getting worried because I'm going to be spending unnecessary time that I wasn't supposed to spend here. And uh, another thing is there's not a lot. There's nothing going back home. So, man, kind of a bad day. But let's see what the broker says. They did tell me here that they could possibly get me in if I don't have a an appointment because they never rescheduled. So, but it's not guaranteed. So this sucks. Okay, we're all backed in. They actually did give us a door. It's ten twenty. So, see how long they take to unload us. So I'm laying back here while they're unloading me, and I'm looking at the load board. And look at this. There's pretty much only one load on the load board and it's paying a dollar a mile and I have to deadhead like damn near three hours. And then, yeah, so it's not worth it for me because the delivery is also like three hours away from where I park my truck at. So it's definitely not worth it for me. I'll end up, I'll probably end up doing this load for like 20 cents a mile if I take it. So yeah. I'm probably going to have to, I have two options. I could wait here until tomorrow and get not a very good paying load. Or I could just deadhead home and probably do a local load tomorrow. But I think I'm just going to deadhead home, to be honest. There's nothing really good up here, so this sucks. Yeah, so I don't know if this part is going to be part of the other video it's gonna be a new video but so when we were in portland oregon we had some trouble delivering but we got that figured out uh they ended up charging us like 520 dollars for the lumber fee and when i messaged the broker he was like what's it's that much and i was like well yeah because you guys didn't reschedule an appointment so they added like an extra hundred and something dollars He didn't want to, he was just like questioning me and I was like, dude, I can send you the receipt right after I pay this. But I sent him a screenshot of how much it was. He sent the express code, we paid, we got our BOL, our paperwork, and we got out of there. And that was like around 11.30. But then, there was no loads on the load board, so I was like, I can wait and all that, but... I was just like, you know what, nothing's going to pop up. I pretty much already know how it goes. So nothing ended up popping up because I kept looking on the way home. And we just entered California right now. And uh, yeah, I was pretty bummed that we didn't find anything. So we're heading home empty. And that's like 550 miles empty. So it sucks. We got a really good... The thing is, we got a really good paying load going to Oregon, to Portland, but kind of sucks because we didn't get nothing coming out of it so that kind of ruined the week uh, i was looking to 
for some loads to pick up like in Weed, California for tomorrow. Maybe I could just stay the night there and pick something up. But there's nothing on the load board for that either. So, man, it was a crappy week for some for freight. Well, at least from over here on this side, from Oregon. So, yeah, kind of bummed out. If I would have had a load coming back, it would have been a great week. But there was nothing, so... There was one load on the board that I could have got, as you guys saw it, but it was paying less than a dollar a mile. It, was just, it wasn't worth it. Because it was going all the way to like the Bay Area. But yeah, it just was not worth it. And then someone ended up picking it up anyways. But I wasn't going to do it no matter what. I was probably going to end up losing money on that load for sure. But yeah, man, we're uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four hours away from home now, so... Might try to do a local load tomorrow, but we'll see. So that means if I do find a local load, I'll put in, I'll start a new video and this will be part of it. If not, then this is how we're gonna end the video. And uh, yeah, man, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 10,000 followers, it's my goal. And we're like at 820 right now, so let's do it. Peace out, you guys.